There is no way that these tire marks were made by a 64 Buick Skylark. The following scene is from the 1992 movie My Cousin Vinny. These marks were made by a 1963 Pontiac Tempest. Which starred Joe Pesci and Marissa Tomei. This is your opinion? It's a fact. The premise of the film is Joe Pesci plays an inexperienced lawyer on his first trial in which he is defending his cousin and his friend who've been accused of murdering a convenience store clerk. Can't make those marks without parts of traction, which was not available on the 64 Buick Skylark. And Marissa Tomei plays his fiancée. What you do in your father's garage? Tune-ups, oil changes, brake relining, engine rebuilds, rebuilt some trannies, rear ends. Okay. Which she actually won an Academy Award for. Ms. Vito's expertise is in general automotive knowledge. The key evidence in the case was the getaway car. It is in this area that her testimony will be applicable. And in the final courtroom scene, Vinny decides to call on his fiancée as an expert witness. What would the correct ignition timing be on a 1955 Bel Air Chevrolet with a 327 cubic inch engine and a four barrel? Carburetor. It's a bullshit question. It's impossible to answer. Impossible because you don't know the answer. Nobody could answer that question. Because it so happens that she has an encyclopedic knowledge of automobiles. Why is it a trick question? Watch this. And what proceeds to occur is highly entertaining. Because Chevy didn't make a 327 in 55. The 327 didn't come out till 62. And it wasn't offered in the Bel Air with a four barrel carb till 64. The shock and awe moment being that this is not something that you would assume to expect in our society and culture. In 1964, the correct ignition timing would be four degrees before top dead center. That a woman who's an out of work hairdresser who looks like this possesses all of this knowledge on automobiles. Well. It's a good movie, I'd recommend it if you haven't seen it already. She's acceptable, Your Honor. The point of this video and what I wanted to highlight is Marissa Tomei's character. She's hot, but allow me to elaborate. My focus isn't on the physical attractiveness of Marissa Tomei. She's obviously a very beautiful woman, what I am talking about. Her character's expertise and knowledge on a particular subject. I think it's incredibly sexy and attractive. But not only that, have the confidence to voice and showcase your knowledge and expertise, in spite of people who may presume you don't know what you're talking about because you're a woman. Watching a woman clap back at a man who presumes he knows better because he's a man and you rip him to shreds? This would be me to a T. I'd absolutely love it. I guess I just wanted to counteract the main narrative that men spout online that they don't want women that know stuff. Which is such a ludicrous expectation that I'm expected to know everything, you're expected to know nothing, and I'm expected to teach you everything. I'm comfortable in accepting that I don't know everything. I'm also comfortable to be open-minded to the possibility that a woman I may encounter may be more knowledgeable on a subject than I am. And you're all knowledgeable on something. It doesn't have to be automobiles. It could be anything. Be proud out of the knowledge you've obtained and the expertise you have. Speak up and share it confidently. Never shy away from showcasing that. Let your light shine bright even if you're surrounded by darkness.